Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? We have breaking news, breaking news coming out of Europe right now. Two Euro fighter jets have had a fatal collision over Germany. Uh, a horrific situation has developed over Germany. And uh, these two German armed forces, Eurofighters, have collided and crashed over Germany in the northeastern part of the country. Let me put out a real quick shout real fast. I'll give you the full details on this. Again, the uh, Federal Millionaire Guide. Some of you out there say, Pastor Begley, do you understand how they do this? My answer is no. I'll tell you where to go, though. Just simply pick up and go to this account, go to this website, www.thefederalmillionaire.com. That's www.thefederalmillionaire.com. You see, D.R. Barton Jr. is a self made millionaire. He used to have that five to nine, you know, that nine to five job, one paycheck every two weeks. He dreaded going to the mailbox. All he got was bills, 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 and more bills, credit card bills, mortgage was due. Uh, he had one paycheck every two weeks. His boss giving family barely getting by. But folks, he found out a little known secret uh, that changed everything for his life. Alternative income stream. And this is how he became a self-made millionaire. It changed his life. And he can help explain that to you with a free video. If you just simply go to his website. Uh, there, but there's over 100 government agencies by law that have to... Uh, pay rent to at the tune of $11.1 billion to different individuals over federal buildings. Uh, and you could be checking, you could actually cash a $1,795 check, but you need to find out how to do that. I don't have the answer. So just go to his website, www.thefederalmillionaire.com. That's www.thefederalmillionaire.com. Watch the free video. See how D.R. Barton uh, and hundreds of other people have been able to understand how to get a federal rent check. You might be cashing that $1,795 check next at www.thefederalmillionaire.com. All right, here's what's going on. These two German armed forces, these fighter jets, have collided over Germany. Although both pilots managed to eject from the planes, thank God, local reports said one of them has died. That's, un that's unfortunate. We're sad to hear that. One of the Euro fighters went down in a forest while the other crashed near the village uh, about six miles away. The interior ministry in the state of Mecklenburg in Germany is reporting the pilot who survived was found dangling from the trees by rescue teams. He is still alive. This mid-air collision happened as three Euro fighters, typhoons, were taking part in an air combat exercise, um, and the third pilot witnessed the collision over the um, forest there in Germany. He did see two parachutes, uh, but one pilot is dead. Local media show footage of the smoke from both planes as they hit the ground and said the crashes had both started small fires in the area. One of the pilots was found alive by rescuers near the village's and the residents said that the fire brigade quickly brought the fire at the scene under control. Police have warned that the debris from this crash has been strewn over a very large area and is very dangerous. The second plane went down in a wooded area near the village of Jabal. The two pilots were based out of the same um, uh, district called Rostock. Uh, and it's a tactical air force wing of 73. So, the, you know, the European Union is trying to build its own army. And that's one of the things that you hear Angela Merkel talk about. You hear uh, the uh, she's the chancellor of Germany. You hear French President uh, Emmanuel Macron uh, discuss this and several other nations. that. But they're trying to, you know, they, what it is, they don't want to be under NATO no more. They don't want to be under the United States of America uh, leadership. But the problem is. They were okay with it until we said it's time to pay your fair share. When Trump said, look, you guys, we're, we've been protecting you for 50 years. It's time for you to pay your bills. We're still paying the biggest portion, but you guys need to at least pay, you know, your 2%. They won't do it. So they said, we'll just go start our own army. Problem with that, guys, you just don't go off and start an army and wait till you see the cost on that thing. You'll want to pay your 2%, okay? And so anyway... 
Europe struggling. Uh, we'll keep an eye on what's going on um, and uh, pray for this pilot that's alive, that he survives, and, and pray for the family of the pilot that has lost his life, unfortunately, there in Germany. We'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Why is everybody training? Why is the intensity rising? Well, the tensions in the Middle East couldn't be any higher with Iran right now. Trump did not hit, hit those. And I had already gotten some information. And I'm going to say this off the record, way off. This is word on the street. Just word on the street. That they weren't going to hit any targets that were... Um, publicly known they were going to hit three black sites uh and and knock out some 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 stuff but they decided not to that just word on the street bottom line is this trump pulled back said let's not hit anything because trump didn't want to kill 150 people he didn't want to be the one that drew first blood but he isn't going to sit here and let the iranians build nukes and so that that's why you're seeing the sanctions now tightening even more the economy crumbling in in iran the Iranians either got to come to the table or try to fight back. And if they do that, they're going to be, uh, that's not a good decision. So let's just see how this all works out, guys. Pray for peace. Oh, by the way, Jared Kirshner tomorrow, he's going to unveil the, the financial side of this Middle East peace deal. And already a boss is saying, no, 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 I don't want the blessing. I don't want the $50 billion blessing. That almost sounds like Esau in the Bible. when he said, I don't want the birthright. When it's laying right there. I'll be back with more. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days. See you at 10 o'clock. No show today. I'll be live. No show at noon. No show at noon. But I will be live tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. We'll get you up to speed on everything going on around the world. Are you serious?